All right. The past three years, I've played for Campo for the hockey team, and it's an experience that I would not trade in for the world. I had such an amazing time, and believe it or not, our first year, we won. So it's just a memory that's gonna be in my mind for the rest of my life. Honestly, the thing I'm gonna miss the most is having my life revolve around hockey, having practice two times a week and games every weekend. I'm honestly gonna miss that so much. So nobody really knows this unless they're on the bench. But Dylan has done this for years with Chris. And Greg finally saw it in the last game. And so during the huddle in between periods or before, right before the game when they're giving the talk, Dylan has his hand up and he grabs Chris's hand. Go ahead. And, they, and Dylan sits there going like this. And it's normal to us, and it's normal to Chris, and it doesn't freak him out, but Greg was sitting there giving the talk, and he sees that, he goes, what the hell are you doing? Stuff like that, all the little quirky stuff that nobody knows about unless they're on the bench is, that, that's the funny stuff that happens day in and day out. My favorite part of coaching is becoming one of the guys. Um, and what I mean by that is, um, being able to, during certain times, bring my maturity level down and have fun with the kids. Um, act like one of the players, tell some jokes, razz them, um, bust their chops every now and then. Um, and to have them come up to you and talk to you about things in their life and their school and their path and their situations or issues, um, I think that that, that relationship uh, of coach and player, where it doesn't always have to be coach and player, it can be friendship, uh, is my favorite part. I've been part of his hockey life and for the last uh, 10 years and to be on the bench and be part of his final year of competitive hockey um, was something very emotional for me and something that was very important for me and it's something that um, uh, will walk alongside me for the rest of my life. So that was uh, maybe a little bit of a happy and a sad moment all combined. That's been that's been really fun watching like these these kids just grow into like young men and and uh, you know overcome their fears. This and my sophomore year, I feel like we we're the closest as a team. We were always talking, always together. There were really no issues we had like on the team. And uh, yeah, no, I I wouldn't trade all that time for anything. I I don't know. It's been a lot of fun hanging out with all my friends this year. Watching the kids have fun with each other, not just playing the game, but. Uh, dry land, in the locker room, the jokes, the songs, the music, uh, the overall atmosphere uh, of the team um, was really one of my favorites that I've ever coached. Getting to know a bunch of new players and some of the old players that I had, uh, I was familiar with, uh, it's something that in the sport of hockey it brings it all together and it's something that it, I really, really look forward to and uh, now that it has passed, um, it leaves a bit of uh, an emptiness. It has been my ultimate pleasure to be able to be the manager for Campo Verde. I'll miss you guys. It's kind of getting a little dusty in here. My eyes are watering up, and so hopefully the wind will shift and I won't have teary eyes anymore. But um, one of my favorite parts of this whole season, even though it was the worst probably moment, was at the very end of the last game against Notre Dame Prep. That was the first time I saw the team come together as a team. Um, everybody skated to Sharky, and you all just st stood there. And it was, as a, a parent, it was amazing to see. <laughs> Sorry. So I wish, I wish the season would have ended on just different circumstances, but that was one of my fa favorite moments. At the end, you know, we had a tough loss, and when we all just came together and just hugged and cried it out all together, like, that was just amazing. It made me feel at home, and I'm just gonna miss. I'm just gonna miss all those guys because I grew up with all these guys, and we've played hockey together. And now it's all gonna end, and like we all have to grow up now. What I'm gonna miss most is definitely the boys. I love the boys so much. Like I'm always with them. I'm seeing them at least three times a week, and I go and hang out with some of them now. So if we're you're still on the team, let's go. Let's go hang out sometime. It was really much of a brotherhood uh, in that locker room as any of us could have asked for. It's just amazing how much just a hockey team can be a family. Anytime we got to hang out together, 
it was a fun time and I had the honor of being able to lead this team and I had I couldn't tell you how thankful and blessed I am to have that opportunity and I appreciate everyone's love and support throughout this whole year and I'm really gonna miss it. Dream big boys figure out what you want to do um, make a decision but don't feel like you're in this alone. Just do what makes you happy don't don't follow your parents <laughs> and they're gonna hate me for saying that but I know sometimes parents think they know what's best uh, but you're an adult now you're moving on um, find what makes you happy and do that it, it just just knowing that hey these these kids like they're gonna grow up and they're gonna be okay they're gonna do something great in their lives like they they're already doing great things and and I know it's gonna carry on way past high school for them they're gonna be they're gonna be a lot of successful young men don't take time for granted don't go to practices or games like just wanting to get out of there and like you just gotta enjoy your time on the ice you gotta enjoy every minute of it because once it comes to an end it's it's kind of like it's just done I mean you can do other things you can play other I mean, you could still play hockey, but it's, it's not the same. This is the time where you make all the memories with all your friends that, that you're going to talk to for the rest of your lives. I'm still friends with all my high school buddies. I still talk to them all the time, and that's 30-something years ago. So enjoy it and never forget how fun this was.